My name is Patricia Dunn, and I teach at Stony Brook University in New York. I teach college composition and communication, but I also teach um, pre-service teachers who are going to be English teachers, not only on the college level, but on um, a grade seven through 12 English classes. So um, I feel very responsible. I feel the responsibility greatly to teach them to be good writing teachers because some of the students they'll be teaching may not go to, to get all us, of us wonderful people here at College Composition and Communication. The high school class they're in might be it for them. So um, I feel it's very important that um, they're able to get their students excited about writing and engaged in writing. And um, one way that I do that, and the main class I teach in this is um, uh, I have both students who are not going to be teachers and students who are going to be teachers. But I try to get them all excited about writing themselves. Um, so, um, and I try to teach them about um, writer buy-in and engagement because all the good things that we want our students to do, you know, considering audience, considering rhetorical situation, considering the genre that they're writing in, considering the audience, considering their own situated ethos, their own invented ethos, all those wonderful things, not to mention revising and editing. No human being is going to do that unless they're really engaged in it, unless they're really um, committed and they have some buy-in. So I have a project where I have my um, students, who are going to be teachers, um, they write a piece of authentic writing. Um, and it has to be in the argument persuasion persuasion. Um, and I do that because I tried to do this with like personal narrative or um, you know memoir type things and then the question I always got was well but what about real writing and 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 they thought of that as creative writing and I really want them to see that the things I'm teaching them can be used in um, so-called academic writing or really any kind of writing. So anyway I, I have them um, locate online um, an authentic writing opportunity that they can legitimately write for. They can't be writing, you know, front page news stories for the New York Times. It has to be, <laughs> it has to be something that uh, regular people can contribute to. And then they have to bring in three um, mentor text, framing text, sample text, whatever you want to call it, from the, that particular genre and that particular form. So if they're writing um, you know, uh, movie review, they've got to bring in a movie review from that site. Um, and then we take a look at um, textual features, we look at it, and it turns out that even these English majors are not all that great about finding specific textual features that vary from genre to genre. So I have to model the process with them, we pick some out, we practice it in class, we do it. Um, it helps if we do more than one of these rounds because then they see the differences between the genres, which is very important, the conventions, the assumptions about audience, the different kinds of evidence that are used, um, the parts of situated um, ethos that will help them or maybe hurt them, power differentials, all those things. And again, if they found the project and the, and the topic, I mean, I, I give them some parameters, but they have a lot of choice. So by the time they come up to, to write about it, we start talking about some of these strategies and what to think about, most of them are pretty engaged in it. In fact, as I was waiting to do this video, I got an email from a student who, um, she just got a job through uh, Odyssey, which I'm not sure, even sure what that is, but it's some sort of online thing that she did an open letter for, openletter.com, and she sent that off. Anyway, she got a job out of this. I just found that out, so she's thrilled. So writer buy-in is very important, and I try to build it into my students. You know, they're English majors, they write a lot, but they don't really write a lot other than uh, their papers in school. So I try to get them excited about other kinds of genres. And my evil plan is to get them so excited about writing and, and engagement that they're able to do that with their own students and get their students writing in you know, real genres, real forms, as much as they can, and, and to learn, to take the skills that they learn from teaching that way to the other stuff that they have to write in school that might not be uh, 
provide so many opportunities for writer buy-in. So it's it's great fun, and um, the students love the class. I love the class. I learn from them. They're, they're always finding these great websites and opportunities that I don't know about. So I'm increasing my repertoire of places I can suggest.